Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. It is Tuesday. And you are tuned in to Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss B. I am your girl, Miss B, as you already know. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. So, of course, as you see, Miss B has a very, very bare face, which means we are going to do us a demonstration today. Hey, hey, man. How are you? How are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Let's get it going. Hello, Dolores. Hello. You all already know what to do. Go ahead and hit share. It's in the bottom left corner. Bottom left corner of your screen. I am wonderful, honey. Thank you for asking. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to have you here. I have on these bracelets, you guys. I'm about to take them off because I'm going to tell y'all, they get on my nerve already, okay? Already. But today, listen, guys, if you have not seen in the captions, today's topic is skin color correction. Skin color correction. We have never done that before, okay? So what we're going to do we're going to do some correcting of the skin, okay? I'm going to give some just some information about how to even do that. I know you guys have seen um, color correctors, the orange, the lavender, the green, the yellow, stuff like that. However, what we're doing today is giving you the basics, the basic information on how to color correct your skin prior to your makeup application, okay? So go ahead and Bring it on in. Bring it on in. You are very welcome. You're very welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So already, you already know, uh, right here at Beauty by Miss B, we pride ourselves on sanitation. Sanitation. That is the biggest thing out here because there's a such thing as cross-contamination. I'm finding pieces of white on my black. So cross-contamination, and we do not want to do that, especially when it comes down to uh, skin uh, physical contact with the skin the skin as we all know is our largest organ the skin is our largest organ so what we have to do is ensure that our skin is protected that our skin is taken care of guys we have to ensure that that is that is what's going on okay so today again I've already started with a bare canvas bare canvas I've already uh, um, cleansed I have already exfoliated I've already toned, I've already moisturized. So right now, all I'm doing is application. So first, I'm going to um, prime my skin. I'm going to prime it. I'm going to be using NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base, okay? NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base. I'm not going to be doing any fancy eyes or anything like that because we don't have to. You know, right now we're just doing the, um, the, uh, we're teaching about the color correction of your skin, how to correct the color on your skin before you do your makeup application before. Okay. That way you don't have to re rely so much on, um, highlighting and contouring y'all. Look, I look like a whole vampire right now. <laughs> But the importance of primer, primer is very, very important for your skin because if you have large pores like Ms. B does, oh, I just turned into Casper the Friendly Ghost. If you have large pores like Ms. B does, the, the uh, facial primer, putting that on is very, very important. Hey, Lily Marie, putting facial primer on is very, very important because if you have large pores, it, it kind of fills them in. It kind of gives you a good smooth surface. I'm looking like Ashy Larry right now, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a fly in here, and me and we are going to fight. I mean, me and this fly are going toe to toe. Okay. Um. So if you all are just tuning in, please, please, please hit share. Hit share. We are talking about skin color correction, how to color correct before you apply your makeup, and then. How when you color correct, you see that you may you don't need as much highlight and contour and everything as you thought you did. Because we have some, some ladies out here, honey, that is just 
All right. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> okay, so I think I have rubbed that in. This, actually, this next um, HD photogenic primer base is a mattifying primer base. So when you put it on, naturally, it's going to, it gives you enough time to kind of let it, you know, move around and set and do what it's going to do. All right. And then you, you rub, rub it in, you do what you got to do. And then when it sets, it sets mattified. Okay. It sets mattified. Y'all laughing at me? <laughs> Are y'all laughing at me? Okay, so I did my primer base. Now, although I take very, very, very good care of my skin, you guys, I take very good care of it because um, oily skin runs in my family, all right? Um, we have very oily T-zones. Oily Some of us have oily lids. Some of us have oily, you know, we just oil. We just manufacturers of oil, okay? Um, <laughs> so... I have to, um, I have to make sure, I have to make sure that my base is cleansed and it's, I have a mattifying primer. I do mattifying primers, mattifying eye, um, shadow base. I, I'm matte all day long. And then a mattifying setting spray. Um, Ermaine says, oh my God, this fly, these flies are some, something else. I get one here and getting, it's getting on my nerve. Yes. Yes. They are a mess. You didn't. You hear me? And they nasty. Carry all kind of germs and stuff. But it's okay. Okay. It's okay. I mean, that joker came right before we went live and came and I was doing something with the phone. I was setting up the line and it came and landed right here on my nail like, like a thug. Like a gangster. I was like, I know you didn't. A mess, y'all. A whole mess. Okay, so although I take care of my skin, as you can see, I have just a little bit of darkness under my eyes here, a little bit of darkness under my eyes. I have some areas probably mm, right, right, right um, in here. I may have some right up in here. You know, I have a blemish here. So those are the things that I'm going to be correcting. Now, it now color correcting and knowing which which corrector to use is very, very important. It is very important to know your skin undertone. That's number one. Number two, it is very good to know um, what you're trying to cover up, what you're trying to get rid of. This is your foundation. This is the very uh, first layer. This is the la under, under layer. You're not going to see this. After the application, the, the makeup application, you will not see this. And that this is what this is for so that you don't see this. Some foundations, as you all know, are very, very thin. They're very watered down. And so when you do a full coverage of um, foundation, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't cover all of your blemishes, right? So that undertone. That under base, that foundation layer, that is what you want to do, which is the layer of the primer and the corrector and stuff like that. So all of that you want to do before you put your foundation on, okay? So there are different ones. There's a lavender one, which I do not have the lavender one because we really don't have a lot of um, clients that require the lavender. But we have the green and the green is perfect for those who have maybe suffered from rosacea, suffer from, um, you know, they have a red undertone. They're really, really red. They may be red right in their cheeks. They're red right in their forehead. forehead, forehead. Y'all heard that? Ebonics, forehead. Red right in their cheeks. Red right in their forehead. Maybe on their chin. Certain affected areas, inflamed areas maybe. Um, and and this will work for them, okay? For the yellow... The yellow is good for those who have who are really really dark, may have some um some darker tones, maybe some some dark, you know, it maybe looks like a blue or you know, greenish undertone. Those things that kind of what it does is because uh green and blue are kind of cool, what it does is it kind of warms them up. It warms them up, okay? Now the most commonly used color corrector is the orange. That's the most commonly used. And as you can see, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer. Um, and the most co commonly used corrector is the orange. Okay? It is the orange. Yeah, we got some, uh, some hiccuping up in here with this music. So, yes, the most commonly used is the orange. Hello, 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 everyone who is just joining us. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Join us. I am. We are talking about color correction for your face before 
your primer, I mean, before your um, foundation application or your makeup application, how important is it to color correct? How important is it to color correct? I think it's very, very, very important to color correct, okay? Now, I'm going to take a concealer brush, okay? And I'm going to take some of that orange and dab it on there. Hi, Nakia. How are you, honey? Long time no see. Okay, so on my my affected areas would be under my eyes, right? Maybe right in here in the depths of my cheek and jaw. So I have the corrector on here. And we're going to go ahead and apply it to the affected areas, okay? And then you'll see actually how it lifts. It's going to look so bright and orange, right? Put it right in here in my cheek area. Hi, Ravery. Hey, hey, artist and extraordinaire. Artist and author extraordinaire. I'm good, honey. I'm good. So I'm just putting the orange corrector in areas that I think probably needs a little bit of Le shum, le shum. Okay, so I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to dampen it with my NYX mattifying. Like I said, I, I like the matte finish. I gotta have a matte finish, y'all. I just sprayed my whole face. Lord. <laughs> and I'm gonna blend it out, okay? Again, this is the important, this is important for those who have dark marks and dark spaces and all of that stuff, blemishes from previous maybe acne and things like that. What it does is it gives you a balanced base, okay? It just covered up all my little mole marks and all this stuff. I have very tiny moles on my face, which may appear as a dark blemish. If I put my makeup, once I put my makeup on, it may appear as a blemish, but it's really not. It's a mole that I got from my grandmama. Okay, so we're just going to blend that out. And like I said, you guys, although it is orange and although some may have a, a lavender or some may have a green and or yellow, those tones you do not see under your makeup at all. You don't see it under your makeup. Again, this is your base. This is your base. This is what helps you to have a smooth and even, even facial um, palette canvas to start off with all right Miss Ravy says hey lovely lady. I need this tutorial. Thank you beauty by Miss B salon studios. You are very welcome my love You guys I have two of my fellow cast members of the business women of Atlanta in the building I know y'all supporting the business women of Atlanta. I just know you are I know this is not something that I need to say because I know all of the Beauty by Miss B babies and watchers and followers and friends are followers of the Business Women of Atlanta. If you are not, shame on your soul. Okay? So as you see, I'm blending it out. It is very important to blend, 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 blend. It's important to blend regardless. Even if you have on a highlighter or something like that. So as you can see, as you can see, my dark marks are no longer evident. They're no longer evident. Blend it out. It's important. It's very, very important, you guys, to start and correct. Start with a smooth base. That way you don't have so much to do. And you don't have to put on so much makeup, sugar lump. The name of the game is as natural as possible. <laughs> as natural looking as possible. You don't want to wake up looking like yourself. And then, you know, when you finish your makeup application, you looking like somebody auditioning for RuPaul's Drag Race. All right? 
Um, that was Ravi Ravi asked, what was the spray? It was NYX Professional Makeup Matte Spray. Matte finish. Hold on. Fine fine matte. Of Fini Matte. Matte finish, okay? It's setting spray. So what I did was I took and set the spraying directly on my face. I sprayed the beauty blender. Because if you do, okay, there's two different finishes. If you want to do a dry beauty blender, then what you're doing is you're you're getting all of that potent. You want the whole full effect of whatever, whether you're blending out your concealer, your corrector, whatever the case. If you want to keep it dry, I mean, if you want that potent finish, keep it dry. If you want it to kind of melt into your skin and give you more of a natural finish, spray it down. Either you can spray it with a mattifying spray or a setting spray or even a dewy spray or, or a rose water. That's good for your skin. I actually have some right here. I love rose water, you guys. And if you don't want to go and buy rose water, just take some rose petals, put them in a pot of water, boil them, and boom, sis, rose water. Rose water. Don't say I never gave you nothing, okay? Um, so what you do, you can either do the sprays or you can use water. Just dampen it with some water. But I like to have a spray finish, a spray product in there that's going to do duo work. You know what I mean? It's going to blend it out and it's going to give me that, that mattifying look that I want. Because I have, like I said, I have oily skin. Okay? So as you all can see, yes, honey, boom. Boom, pow, surprise. If you all have not, please, please, please share. It's in the bottom left. Share, share, share. We are showing how to correct that skin, honey, before, before you apply your makeup. Before, because we see a lot of these makeup... Makeup artists, you know, bless everybody, you know what I mean? Because if you have a gift, then so be it, use it, honey, use it. However, if you're going to use the gift, use it with all knowledge and understanding, okay? Alrighty, so that was my base. I just corrected. So as you can see, although you see exactly where I put the corrector, you don't see any visible dark marks, on my face. You don't see any visible underlying darkness. Those bags up under there. Okay? You don't see it because you know Miss B don't get a lot of sleep. And you know, in the morning, Miss B be looking like Erica Badu's bag lady. Alright? <laughs> we don't, we don't, that's not the look, sis. That ain't the move. That ain't the move. That ain't what we're going for. We ain't going for the bag lady look. We ain't going for the bag lady look. Alright? So now, from there, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get my brows. Because, you know, sis needs some brows. Y'all need to know what my expression is. And <laughs> what, what I'm, you know, you need to know what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? And right now, I got, sis got a half a brow. I need a full brow. I need a full, I need it, I need the full glory. Huh? I need this full, I don't need half of its glory. I need the full glory. I need the full glory. So this, today, what I'm going to do, because everything is going to be soup. Super simple, guys. Super, super simple. All right. Be on the lookout too for a um, everyday slay makeup course. It's going to be a one day, couple of hours, not long, couple of hour make everyday makeup slay. Hey, Chad, Chaz. Hey, hey. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, the next class that I'm hosting. In fact, talking about classes, guys. Let me tell you something. I had such a good time on Sunday. It was so many lessons learned. It was so much fullness. It was so much like it was the class was for more, more for me. The class was for me. The class that I hosted, guys, was for me. <laughs> it wasn't for nobody else. Literally. Okay? But I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful of the result. I'm, I'm just grateful. Okay? Um, so the next class that we're hosting here is Monday. Coming up Monday, and that is the Color Me Fearless color class. Color Me Fearless color class. Now, now that we got the weave out the way, baby, it's time to do some hair. Honey, huh? It's time to get some hair done. We ain't fooling with no weave no more. It's time to get some hair done. We got time to do some hair. All right, so I'm going to, now that we've color corrected my face, I'm going to get this brow on. So today I'm just going to use a uh, Nika K, Nika K makeup auto eye liner. I'm just going to do a basic liner. Nothing fancy. We ain't coming for the whole ACL brow. Okay? 
So what I do is I go top, I outline the very top of my brow with light strokes. Notice I'm not doing Sharpie. I'm not, I'm not going Sharpie. This is a basic brown, honey. We ain't doing Sharpie black. Okay. Again, as natural looking as possible, sis. That is the name of the game. Don't you dare. Sharpie, you up in here like this here. Like you, like you, Freddie and all of them. Don't stab at your brow, sis. And a thin line underneath. Creating your peak. You're just following your lash line. I mean, your brow line, really. That's all we're doing. Okay? We did a line up top. We did a line underneath. And with light, light, quick, hair-like strokes, I'm just going to feel. Lightly, lightly. We are not, again, sis, this ain't art class. Okay? We ain't, we ain't, don't, don't you take that and just go, sis, I see too much of it. Y'all playing out here in these streets. Y'all got heavy hands out here in these streets. Y'all got that old school grandma heavy hand, okay? Okay, so just like that, I got me an old brow. And whether y'all see it or not, the line that I created above and the line that I created below is this. You just don't see it. It's just, it's barely there. Okay. So again, and I tend to, I, I, I can eyeball mine, but if you need some help and you got to trace a line, you know, trace a line, honey. Do what you got to do. That way you know that they're symmetrical. You know, of course we all know that our, our eyebrows are sisters. They're not twins. So you got one that's a little, you know, I'm just doing this for you guys. If you got you you all need some help with trying to see, you know, cuz you so you don't have that rock effect. You don't have one up here and that one day. <laughs> we ain't try Listen, we ain't trying to build the rock. Just you just girl, what sis? What am? What am? What am? <laughs> so we ain't trying to do that. You know, Miss Ravy, we got to help the people. You know what I mean? And just again, like I said, we just go follow your natural line. Follow your natural line. Light strokes. Don't you go up in there like you got a meat cleaver, girl. Okay, this fly. Okay. See, this fly, this fly almost got jacked up. This fly came straight at my face. You know what? You know what I think, y'all? Sometimes... I think nature be trying our lives. Y'all know that? These flies and these bugs out here be trying it. They be trying it, y'all. Okay, so if you all have a hard time trying to get your brows symmetrical, then create yourself the little unibrow. You know what I mean? You, it'll go away. You can take it away, I promise. Just don't keep it there, sis. Create the unibrow, but don't keep it. Don't keep it, honey. You got to let that thing go, baby. Let it go. Loose it and let it go, honey. Okay, light strokes. Like I said, we are not, we're not sharpieing in it out. Did I, I had that sound like it was a whole lot, bunch of syllables. Sharpieing and then, then. Yeah. See, I, 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 I made that a little more round right there. So now, now that I did that, now that I'm done that, we done. Did we done? And that's the thing too, y'all. You ain't got to linger. You ain't got to linger at them brows, baby. Once you done said it, you can forget it, baby. Set it and forget it. I'm gonna take that same beauty blend and get rid of this unibrow, y'all. I, I, you know, I don't want the unibrow. I don't need the unibrow. <laughs> I'm looking at myself crazy as mug right now. Get, girl, get that off your forehead. Okay. All right, y'all. So now, also, now here I go with the. I'm still in LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Now, what I'm gonna do because we're we're keeping it natural looking today. We're keeping it natural looking. We're just talking about the importance and, and the finish of a 
um, right color corrector. That's what we're doing, okay? So I'm going to go with, I'm going with two different concealers, right? As you can notice, as you see, one is darker than the other. I'm using the color Toffee as the darker and the color Cool Tan as the lighter. So the color Toffee is more of, kind of like more of my complexion. So I'm going to use the Cool Tan, the Toffee. Hey, love book. Hey, my boo. How are you? How are you? Now, love, you already know what to do, sugar. Go on, hit that old shell. Go on, hit that old shell one time for the one time. So I'm going to take the color Toffee, which is the darker tone, and I'm going to clean up the top of my brow, starting at the tail here, okay? Starting at the tail, because what we're doing is now we're cleaning it up. Okay. Y'all, that was my mama. She called, honey. Now she know. Now my 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 mama know better. She gonna hit a whole. She gonna hit my mouth. She about to hit. Okay, so with that same beauty blender, it already has a corrector on there. I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that out. Because we don't want that. Thank you, honey. Thank you so very much for the shade. We're talking about the importance of color correction and how it makes a difference and how you don't necessarily have to use so much makeup when you if you first color correct your skin. You don't have to use so much. You don't have to do so much highlighting and contouring and this and that and that. Like you paint a Picasso. Baby, you already a Picasso. Just less, you know. Put a little, put a little sprinkle on that thing, huh? Put a little sprinkle on that thing. Dude. You guys, I feel good. Y'all want to know why? Just cause I do. Y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all something. I went on it. Somebody took me on a date last night, honey. Look, Nakia. Thank you, boo. Thank you. Thank you, Dolores. Y'all, ooh, 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 ooh. I got to give y'all a good old hug when I see y'all. Thank y'all. Okay, so I'm going to the same thing I did on the top of the my one brow, my right brow. This is my right. This is I think I'm on the left on y'all side. But um, on my right brow, I, I you see I cleaned up the top. I'm about to clean up the top on the other. We're still using the Color Toffee by LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to start on the tail of the very end of my brow same as I did on the other side okay and again I'm cleaning it up You guys, we didn't have any, um, this fly, y'all, the fly is sitting on top of my camera. Ooh, he tried my life. Y'all, this fly is trying my whole existence. You hear me? I think he, he tried to make a mockery out of me right now. He looking at me like, I bet you can't get me. I bet you can't get me, girl. I bet you can't get me, girl. I got something for him. Okay, again with the same blender, I'm going to buff that out. Buff her out, we're going to buff her out. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to buff her out. Now, underneath, I have the color Cool Tan. Cool Tan is a lighter than the toffee. So, because we're going with a natural look, I want my uh, my lighter tone to appear and show as my highlight. You know what I mean? My, my uh, brow highlight. But see, here's the thing. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to take it all the way to the front of my brow. I'm not going to do that. Because, sis, you'll have to. You don't have to. You already have your hand. You already did your, your, um, your drawing. You had a steady hand right there, right? Or your lining, my drawing. Lord, you see that? <laughs> you already did your lining. So you don't have to go all the way up in there in the front of your brow with that um, with that highlight. Hit the lighter tone on your brow highlight on your brow peak. That's it. You don't have to pull it all the way down here. You don't have to do that. Because the whole point of concealer underneath and in your brow peak is to highlight it. Let that be your highlight and that's it. You got to bring it all the way down here. No. Because then you have the whole underneath of your brow light like that. That ain't no. Buff it out. Buff it out. And the only thing that's left there is my brow highlight, you guys. The brow highlight. That's it. You don't need it all the way down here. Because then that's when you create that halo brow. Okay? A wet blender is to me okay. There's two. I just finished explaining that, Shamika. Hey, honey. By the way, <laughs> I just finished explaining that. Um, but what you do is with, with a dry blender. There's two different effects with the blender. Um, how you start off with it. If you want a dry blender, a dry blender gives you a full potency. If you want all of that highlight, you want all of that stuff. Hey, sugar. Um, if you want the whole pop of that highlight, then keep it dry. If you want to smooth it out, when you wet it out, when you wet the blender, what you're doing is you're melting. You're doing more melting of that product into your skin. And what it's doing is it's kind of is, is blending that moisture with the product and giving it, making it more sheer and more skin-like. You see what I'm saying? More of a natural finish. So there's two different results. It, it really just depends on the... Um, the person that's receiving the makeup, that's doing the makeup or want that look, whatever look they're going for, then those two, are either a wet or a dry blender, will give you different effects, okay? So just like I did over here, you all see that? You see the difference? You keep the highlight right at the brow peak. You keep it right there. That's that's the only thing you're trying to, you know what I mean? That's the only thing you want to enhance is that that highlight, that brow, that brow peak, okay? So the same way, and of course, again, I'm using the color Cool Tan, um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Y'all, LA Girl came... I mean, listen, I don't know who was the first MUA that put LA Girl Pro Concealer on. But honey, they, LA Girl Pro Concealer dessert, they need, they need to pay. Because honey, the way we be marketing LA Girl Pro Concealer, baby, we need to be on the payroll. But I love them because it's easy to work with and they have multiple shades. Even if you have a combination tone, then you can kind of just take a couple of shades and combine them. And do what you do. All right, bring it on down. And again, we're not going in there. And I'm gonna tell you why we're not going in there um, later on. You're gonna see why we don't have to go in there. Shamika says, no one has ever explained it this way. It makes so much sense though. And what you did with the concealer, I've been, oh, I've been watching two minutes and have learned something. Good. She said she's been watching two minutes and have learned some things already. I'm so happy. 
Thank you, Shamika, girl. Aw, oh, you just blessed me. I'm glad. That's what we try to do. We try to, you see that? You see that? We try to um, really, really bring education. You know what I'm saying? So you all, and sometimes you all, honestly, let's just be real. Sometimes, some MUAs are very, very expensive. Our uh, full face of, here at Beauty by Miss B Salon Studios is $50. That's your average. You know what I'm saying? Between $40, $50, bucks, depending on how good and experienced the person is. However, however, some are very, very, very expensive. So, and, and it's just, you know, and then on top of that, some of us, we don't need to have a full beat every day. When we're like, hi, Liza. Um, we don't have to have a full beat every day when we're just going to the grocery store or going to work or, you know, we're stay-at-home moms and all of this stuff. So, but you do want to look presentable and you do want to blend your skin out and you do want to, you know, color correct and you do want to look decent and stuff like that. Whether you're around the house or whether you're just going to the store or whatever the case. But if you can't afford it at that time, what would it hurt us? Hi, Lachey. What would it hurt us to give you guys, you know, basic information so that you can do a maintenance at home? So you can execute your own brown. You can execute your own, you know, light highlight, light contour, and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just helping one another. Somebody taught us. Why are we, you know, too afraid to get or too selfish, really, to give it to somebody else? You know, that's all it is. Each one of us are here to help one another. That's all. Thank you all so much for coming through. We are doing, um, we were talking about the importance. We are demonstrating the importance of a color correction on your skin. Of course, naturally, and like I said, I started off, I did the intro and started off with uh, the importance of the reason color correctors even exist. And it's not the, it's not the highlights. It's not the, um, you know, the, the basic tones from, you know, from the, the palest of the, uh, the fairest of complexion concealers down to the, you know, ebony's and mochas and, you know, mahogany's and stuff like that. What the color correctors would be the, uh, the orange, you know, the green, the yellow, the lavender and all of that stuff. And I was talking about how first in order to use those and color correct properly, the first thing you have to do is learn your skin tone, your undertone. That's what you have to do. Number one, learn your undertone. The most commonly used color corrector is the orange. The most commonly used color corrector is the orange. And as you can see, you see some traces of orange on my face. And what I did was I cleansed my face, of course, first and foremost. You always start with a clean palette. And so then you, um, then I did the, the uh, NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base. And it gives a, a mattifying finish because I, Miss B, have oily skin and I have large pores. So primer, what it does is the mattifying, it will cause me to not have that shine. And then, um, and I can have long lasting wear throughout the day without cracking and creasing. And then the, the, uh, the primer in itself is very, very good because I have, again, I have large pores and certain pores, uh, parts of my skin, my face. And so what it does is it fills those pores and it gives you a smooth surface that way when you don't put when you go to put your uh, foundation on it doesn't look like you know like a sponge you know with little suction holes in it so you already you start with a smooth base a smooth base okay so we did all that first and then we put the color corrector on the orange my orange color corrector that i use i put it underneath my eye because as you can see there you can you can vaguely see it but there's a there's a little slight bag right there right you can't really see it really, really well right now until, unless I get real up, up close, okay? Um, but it's, it's slight darkness under my eyes and then just some areas on my on my cheeks and stuff like that because um, I have little tiny moles, you know what I'm saying? So you want to cover those up and what the uh, color corrector does, it covers those up for you to have a smooth, perfect, flawless, airbrush-like finish, Right? That's what we're going for. This today we're not gonna do any fancy eyes. We're not gonna do no cut crease, no half cut, full moon, halo, eclipse. We're not doing none of that. We're just doing color correction, and I'm going to show you how um, correcting the color corrector under your skin, the base and foundation, is going to give a different natural looking finish. Okay. So that is the brow, you guys. We did Toffee, LA Girl Pro Concealer Toffee up top, cleaned it up up top, and then we did LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan underneath for the highlight, the brow highlight, all right? 
So now what I'm gonna do is just take, I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup to set. Cause again, some people's eyelids are very oily and they crease, okay? As you can see already right there with the um, concealer that I used and put it on and kind of buffed it out, blended it out with the Beauty Blender. If you wait too long, it will crease on you. So the on and the only way to stop the creasing is to set it. You already started it with a cream. You want to set it with a powder. Okay? <laughs> Love said I was here for the eclipse. Girl, listen, you know we come up with some stuff, honey. We got the half moon, the crescent moon. Girl, listen. <laughs> so with Sasha Buttercup, I'm going in to my lid and I'm pressing in there guys I want to get it all in them creases honey all in my crease in my fold of my eyelid alright cause you don't want that to crease on you if once you do your shadows and stuff like that you don't want any creasing on there especially if you have taken your time and you made that thing look good honey you got about 14 colors up there and you all you blended them out to the gods honey they gradient all the way through looking like a rainbow you don't want no creasing in that at all So it's just a lot, it's just a light, light dusting of the powder. And what you're doing is you're pressing in. As you can see, I'm pressing. I am pressing. Don't be scared, baby. You're doing this to your own eye. Don't be scared. It's a beat. It's a beat. <laughs> okay. And you see that? So the powder is set it and gave me Sasha Buttercup. Um, I, first of all, I love. I, we have different. We have uh, several different setting powders. We have Sasha Buttercup. We have a Ben Nye Banana and Translucent. Um, we have um, um, Laura Mercier, which is one of the faves. We have um, what is another one? Oh, honey, I don't even know. We got so many. But we use, we choose and decide which one we want to use based on what we're going for. All right? So you see that? So now I can bleak and do all of that stuff and then I don't have to worry about any creasing. It's set in there. It's in there. Okay? Now, I'm going to take my foundation. The foundation that I'm using today, which is you all I'll probably already know if you are, if you are a... Um, a consistent watcher of Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss B, then you know that one of my favorites is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Okay, in cool. It is C7. C7, C8. I'm not sure if you can see that. C7, C8. Cool. Nut brown cocoa. Okay, so I'm going to take a couple of pumps, just a couple. Because again, what we're not doing, we ain't going for the natural look. And then, you know, we start off looking, trying to look natural. We end up looking like a contestant on RuPaul's Drag Race. We're not doing that, sis. We ain't doing that today. All right? So with my overbrush, I'm going to take it. I'm just going to dab and go over. And as you can see, that orange is gone. You don't see any evidence of that orange. Not at all. Because you're not supposed to. We're not trying to see the orange. The orange is not meant to be seen. The orange is meant to correct. That's it. Okay. I put that orange corrector all in here. All up in here. And what it did, it left me with a smooth complexion, a smooth look, a smooth base when I put my foundation on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. It is a pleasure to have you.
And if you would, please share. Share, you guys. Go around that hairline, y'all know. You got to get a full coverage. Full, full coverage. We didn't have any, um, like, we were actually closed today at the salon. And so, um, my dog, she doesn't normally get out of the house. I have a small dog. So, I brought her here with me. And, honey, this, this girl here, she's an old small dog. Of course, Dolores, thank you. I'm going to put it on my lip, too. Ravy say, so let me get this straight. I need a primer, a color corrector, a setting powder, and a foundation with special brushes to achieve this beautiful look. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. A primer is is good for you to... Uh, primer is good for those people like myself, like I said, that, that has large pores and, so, and they're evident. If you have smooth skin, a smooth complexion, you don't need any of that, okay? Because you're already starting with a smooth base. Okay, primer kind of fills the hole. Miss <laughs> Ravy, uh, primer kind of fills those holes. Primer gives you it. Say for instance, you know how the the skin of an orange looks. The skin of an orange is very very representative of um, someone with large pores. Okay, um, someone with large pores. So, but if you put a primer over that skin of that orange. Before you then put the foundation on, then you'll see the difference between the skin if you didn't put the primer on, okay? So that's the difference. That's that's the whole importance of a primer. Now, as far as the corrector goes, the corrector is if you have evident dark marks. If you have evident um, inflammation on your skin, some redding and, you know, um, all of that stuff. If you have those evident inflammations and scarrings and marks and stuff on your skin and you know that just putting a foundation on will not cover although they do have product out here that gives full and complete coverage so you it's, it's thick enough for you to put it on and it covers and conceals and all of that stuff but if you don't want to wear all of that heavy thick makeup then what you're doing is you put your your uh your do the corrector for the to cover up your dark marks and then you put your thin layer, cause like this, uh, the the Lori uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi is very very thin. It's a good coverage, but it's a lightweight. You see what I'm saying? It's a very lightweight. I don't like to be heavy. I don't want my face heavy at all. I want a finish to be flawless. I don't want to feel like I could just take it and scrape it up and kind of peel it off. I don't want to do that. At the end of the day, Love says primer is like a protector. It's like frying chicken with no flour. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So what what you're so what you're doing is you're you know with this here with the color correction that I did, I don't have to do so much afterwards. I don't have to do so much, okay? Not at all. So like I said, primer, primer some primers definitely have SPF in there. You got your sun blockers and stuff like that, but some some um, foundations you want it to have it there. You want it to have it in there. Okay, like the one that I'm using, this has a uh, broad space of so broad uh, octanoxate sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 20. You want your, your makeup to have some type of skin protector in it. You want it, you need it to have that. Okay, um, but not everybody needs a primer, not everybody needs color corrector. It just depends on how smooth and how evenly toned your, com your complexion is. Okay, so that was the whole point of today to, to discuss the importance of color correctors and why we use it and which color correctors to use on what undertone and what situation. Because there is an orange, there's a lavender, there's a green, and there's a yellow. So some people don't know what to do and they don't know what to use it, which one for, okay? So now this is my foundation coverage. Again, you don't see any orange anywhere, none whatsoever, and that is what we're going for. Okay, that's what we're going for. Okay, I'm going to take my beauty blender that I just had. I'm using the same one. I'm not using 55 different beauty blenders because why? Okay, and I'm just going to take around my eyes here. I'm going to buff that out. 
okay? Because we want to smooth. We don't want any lines and stuff like that. We want a smooth, smooth transition. We want it to look, that's the whole thing we're going for. Natural looking. Natural looking. All right. So it is already oxidized. It's, it's still doing it. You know, my, my foundation to where it sets. It allows the air to hit it and then it sets. And have you ever watched your uh, foundation when you put it on and it, it comes on wet and still moist? And then it, it's, it's kind of brighter or it appears like the wrong tone for you. But the more you let it sit and do what it's going to do and oxidize and, you know, all of that stuff, let the air get in it and let that combination, that formula mix or whatever, and it kind of melts into your skin, all of that stuff, you notice it, it blends out a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Okay, so I'm just kind of blending it out a little bit, letting it get into that skin a little bit. I did spray it with my NYX mattifying spray because I wanted to melt again. I wanted to melt. If you want to give a potent, make a statement, you know, a bold statement with your makeup, keep the beauty blender dry. But if you want it to melt in your skin and you want that natural effect, spray it down. You don't not soaking wet, sis. Don't look like you done just dipped it in some water and just brought it up like you done baptized it in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And you know, mm -mm. you don't want it dripping, honey. You don't want it dripping. All right. So there, it looks like I have just this just, just my skin. You know what I mean? It looks like it's just my skin. That's the whole point. That is the whole point. You don't want your, thank you, Miss Ravy. You don't want your, your uh, makeup to look like you got on makeup unless you want it to look like you got on makeup. Like I said, you, there's a difference between makeup, natural looking makeup, and again, RuPaul Drag Race. If you want to, there is a happy medium. Thank you. Thank you, Neldra. Oh my goodness, y'all. I, I need all y'all to get on the plane, wherever you at, from wherever you at, get on the plane, bus, boat, honey, and come to me. <laughs> come to me. I need y'all here. Y'all are blessing me today. So now, there you go. So when, when I color corrected, you know, so I kind of... I kind of took away some of the appearance of my under eye darkness. I took away some of the appearance of the, the darkness on my cheeks and my jaws. Vicksburg, Mississippi. Hey, am I crooked letter, crooked letter, I crooked letter, crooked letter, I hump back, hump back, I. Hey, y'all. <laughs> my mother and family are from Clarksdale, Mississippi. So, hey, y'all. Thank you, Dolores. Dolores says your skin is flawless. Thank you, honey. See? That's the appearance. I'm telling y'all. That is the importance of color correcting before you put your foundation on. Color correct before. Delta, yes, ma'am. Color correct before. It looks like, yes, honey. She said the home of the blues. Mississippi is the home of the blues. Is it, honey? Yes, girl. Hole in the wall. <laughs> Come on now. You see that? And so too, matching and making it making it right and getting your right complexion, your right foundation, all of that stuff is very important too. Because look, my face match my neck, match my shoulder, match my hand. <laughs> you don't want your face to be one color, honey, and your ear to be another color and your neck to be another color. Baby. You is Mitch Matt, sis. Okay. So now that we have given the appearance of flawless skin, honey. Now, now we're gonna come with the little extra little little um little little sauce, little sauce, little sauce. Okay. So now I want to now I want to highlight. Now I want to lift my eye. I want to give my eye an eye lift without going on the surgical table, huh? 
It might be a little cheaper too. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back with my toffee. I'm going to use toffee. I, again, I don't want to go completely away from my natural look. I just want to enhance. I'm not trying to give a face transplant right now. I just want to enhance, okay? I just want to enhance. That's the whole point of it. Let's enhance, not give a whole new, all right? So with Toffee, again, with LA Girl Pro Concealer Toffee, I'm going to put some concealer right up on here. Just a little. And look, look y'all. Let let's say this too. Let me, say, let me tell y'all this too. We are using and wasting so much product, y'all. I Listen, I've seen some MUAs that put all concealer. They put it all up and through here, all up. Baby, you done, you done turn Michael Jackson from... Why nose Michael to no nose Michael Chad? Listen, you don't have to do all that. When you're using cream based product, it moves, people. It moves. You don't have to do all of that and put it all up and through here. The cream based products move. They move, okay? You don't have to do all of that. Use your blender and move the product around where you want it to go. Okay, now what we're doing here, what I see some people doing is they're putting product everywhere and then they take it to blender and it's moving it further back. Like you don't have to do that, sugar. Hey, hey, Morella. Hey, hey. Okay, so I have a new beauty blender. I just sprayed it with my NYX and I'm going to move this product. Shamika say, I see them do that all the time. I be cringing at the amount of product I see some people. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You just bought a tube of concealer and now you got to go tomorrow to buy another one for your next tutorial. Baby, listen, that don't make no sense. Yes, Brittany. She said, yes, teach us, sis. I'm trying to, girl. Listen, it's, I'm trying to. Sure, I'm trying. You see this? Again, we are not trying to create a whole new face. Do you see that? It moves, y'all. I promise the product moves. So this is more of my complexion. When I blend it out, it's more of my complexion. Shamika say, highlight be all the way to their temples. Baby, be all the way back here. Girl, what you doing back here? You all in your hair. You trying to highlight and give yourself some highlights? You just, Listen, that's a different kind of highlight. So you don't want to be doing, you want to call your beautician for that type of highlight. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Brittany. Brittany says, flawless. Okay, y'all, the product, I swear, the product going to move. If you're using cream-based product, it's going to move, I promise you. I promise you it's going to move, I swear for Lord. Y'all see that? It's just a, a instant eye lift. Now, I use the tone. I use my tone, right? Let me show you the difference. Because when I do a highlight and I want the highlight to scream, hey, y'all, girl, hey, girl, with it, with it, whistle, whistle. Then what I do is, thank you. She said, I've learned so much, y'all. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> y'all, I cut up, but I'm, I'm, I'm really appreciative, for real. Okay, so now I'm using a cool tan. Cool tan is what I use under on my brow, okay? on At the peak of my brow. So, listen, let me tell you. Because cool tan is real light skin, baby. She is all the way chocolate. And what we're not going to do. Oh, okay, then, sis. Oh, okay. Let me tell you what we ain't going to do. We ain't finna turn Caucasian up in here before y'all very ass. We ain't about to do that. But I am gonna give a little pop just to show you the difference. Just be in my... Listen. You see my shirt? Be yourself. Be yourself. Come through, Nelja. You better be prophetic on here. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Again, just a little bit, sis. Just a little bit, sis. I swear you a sater too. You won't, you won't have to buy another... Now another concealer for... Now another... Huh? It says waste not, won't not. Okay, so with that same beauty blender, I'm going to show you the difference between a natural tone highlight versus a something for a little something, little for something for a little strange, for a little piece of change. You know what I mean? Again, as you can see, it's moving. I'm moving it around. I'm moving it around. And y'all listen, a good indicator... A good indicator, if you have blended that highlight out well enough. Hi, Akili. Hey, Sugar Blonde. You see that? A good indicator. 
to know whether you have blended that highlight all the way out is the flash effect. Take a picture of yourself and leave them and put the flash on. Baby, if it look like Casper the Friendly Ghost is sitting on your face, I swear you ain't blended that out long enough or good enough. If it look like Casper the Friendly Ghost has assaulted your temple. Huh? Thank you, sugar. Achilles say brows on point. Thank you, baby girl. The highlight, again, it moves, you guys. It moves. You don't have to do all of that. You don't have to use all that. Blend. Blend, 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 blend. Move it around. As you notice, I put it only right up in here. And I, I drew it all the way out here. I swear you ain't got to use it all. Chat. Anyway, let me. I don't want to be the dead horse, okay? So now, as you can see, I gave myself an instant eye lift. Now, I'm going to take that cool tan again. And again, with just a slight line. Right there. Blending is key. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sarita. How are you, love? Blending is key. Because some of y'all's pictures, you know, pictures last. Pictures, they worth a thousand words, baby. They, they ain't worth two pennies if that thing look crazy. I'm going to tell you now. Okay, so same way. Blend it out. Move it. As you look at that, I moved it. I'm moving it. Good. Good to hear. I am moving the product. Notice I only put it right there. And look, it's all down here. Move it. You tell the product. You control the product. Don't let the controller listen. Let you make the money, baby. Don't let the money make you. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you make the money. Don't let the money make you, baby. That was a that was a, a wisdom key from the. <laughs> <laughs> from the, I'm saying, I'm trying to say from the, from the, uh, from the, the cinema, the cinema players club. <laughs> Honey, you move the product. Don't let the product move you, huh? Don't you do that. Players club, right? <laughs> you make, make the money. Yeah, you do the blending. Don't let the blending do you. Don't you be a sucker to the blending. Don't you succumb to the lack of blending. Don't you do that. Huh? Don't you be a statistic out of here. I want better for your life. I want to see you win. I want to see you live. And not die. You see that? Instantly, y'all, I got a whole chisel. Baby, I got a whole chisel. I'm carving. Y'all see me carving out? Carving them out. Cutting them out. Huh? <laughs> Brittany said, you are hilarious. Listen, I'm just trying to help the people, Britt. Britannica. I'm just trying to help the people for real. Okay, so now, down the bridge of my nose and on my... Y'all see, y'all see, Miss B don't have no forehead. I don't, you, you see how close that hairline is to that brow? Y'all think I can file for disability? It, never mind, never mind. Okay, so look. Just a little. Little line, little line, little line. That's it. That's it. That's it, sis. That's all. Look down here, you know. That's it. Little bit. Little bit. Little bit, little bit. Little bit, baby. Move it around. Move it around, move it around, move it around. Again, we're we're going for the natural look. We're going for that. We ain't trying to scare nobody. We ain't trying to scare folk. Y'all out here scaring people sometimes, man. I be scared. I be, who? I see. I see some of these. I be like, who? 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 Got to chill. Got cold in here for a minute. <laughs> Listen, I ain't talking about nobody. I'm trying to bless y'all. You know. I'm trying to bless y'all today. You know. Education is freely given. <laughs> I'm saying, y'all know y'all be scared. Be like, ooh, girl, you get a notification. 
Look, you get a notification from somebody doing a makeup. Yeah, we finna do some makeup, girl. You go on there, you, oh, okay, we about to get that slate. We about to get that slate, girl. You open that screen. What the? Oh, oh, girl, that's just you. Who Jesus, yo, girl, my, who my heart? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I'm coming home to you, honey. Girl, you be calling on Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> y'all, y'all, stop acting crazy with me. Walking dead, girl, the walking dead, girl. Eating skulls. You ought to you ought to have a skull on your plate, baby. That's what you look. You look like you need a skull on some toasted bread. Okay, so y'all, listen, I'm not finna be playing with y'all. Stop playing with me. Stop it. Y'all got me up in here cutting up. I'm supposed to be talking about some makeup. We ain't talking, I ain't talking, we ain't talking about nobody. We ain't talking about nobody. We're trying to bless you. Trying to bless you on today. Okay, we just got to give a couple of examples. You know what I mean? Okay, so like I said, like we did before, same thing with the lid. Again, some people, they crease. They crease, okay? So, and, and you use the cream. You use the cream. So naturally, cream is going to set into your creases and all of your little, all of your little, you know, war wounds and your folds and your tuftings. And it's going to get up in there, but you're going to crease over time. So the only way to prevent that creasing over time is to set it with powder. And again, I'm using Sasha Buttercup. Sasha Buttercup. And we're going to set these areas that we put cream on. Another thing, y'all. I, I, like, I feel like you guys are receptive to, you know, wisdom on today. Huh? I feel like you are receptive to wisdom on today. So I feel like I could just give y'all my heart, right? I'm gonna give you my heart. The only thing that we should be baking is cookies and bread. Huh? You see what I just did right there? I'm gonna just let you marinate on that. The only thing that we should be baking is cookies and breads and cakes and brownies not our face. We don't have to do that. What the are y'all doing out here in these streets? Same thing. The same importance that we had with the other blending. Dab it. Put it on there. Put it in the areas that you applied the cream. And blend it out. Honey, I didn't heard some people say, well, the longer you put it on there, the longer you let it sit, because it got to sit. Girl, the longer you let it sit, the more uh, ghostly you looking, baby. No, ma'am. You don't have to do that. I don't know. Listen, and that's the thing about trends out here. Because, honey, one person do it and everybody and their mama want to fall suit. Why, sis? For, for why? For why? You see that right there? I, all, I simply put the powder on my beauty blender and I applied it to the, to the area under my eye that had the cream and I buffed it out and it still appears there. But it's more natural. We're going for natural. We're not trying to create a whole new face. Okay? Same thing. Every area that you put the cream on Every area that you put the cream on, you want to set it. Honey, she coming alive right before y'all very eyes. Y'all better thank him. You better lift your hands and say thank you. Uh huh? For his resurrecting power. Okay. And as you see, as you you all paid attention, I haven't contoured yet. The purpose of some people may have a question with why do we feel we have to highlight why contour? The uh, the real purpose of highlighting and contouring is to when you highlight, you're telling the light what to enhance, what to show, what to bring forth. When you contour, you're telling what you're telling that same light what to hide, what to put away, what to put in the back. Highlight, contour, highlight, contour, highlight, just like I just did. Right up in here, I just told the light, 
Let's enhance that. Right in here, I told the light. Let's enhance that. Okay? I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. Thank you, Marella. Okay? You're telling the, the light what to do, what to enhance. Honey, Miss B, as you can see, baby, that thing go from here to here. Huh? I ain't check. Listen, some of that, we got to pull back, baby. We got to say, whoa there. Whoa there. What you doing? You don't need out there. Everybody don't need to know all your business. Nothing. Pull it back. Huh? Pull it back. What you doing? Telling all the business. Y'all, I want y'all to see from here to here. Y'all don't need to see all that. I want you from here to here. Pay attention. Pay attention. Eyes front, mister. Okay, so I have, I have literally set every area that I set, that I uh, highlighted with the cream, all right? I'm not going to have to do a cream contour. Why? Because I've already indicated, it's already indicated what areas need to be contoured. Sanji, thank you so much. You just taught me so much right there. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you so very much, y'all. <laughs> y'all sure know how to treat a girl y'all sure know what to say to a girl <laughs> I ain't gonna drop no tear cutter cause she is snatched right up in here on today I ain't gonna drop no tear I love you though <laughs> smooches and kisses but she ain't gonna she ain't finna track up the, this, uh, her. that's that good face she ain't finna track up no face now I bless you though I thank you <laughs> So look, okay, so what I'm using now for my contour, I'm going to go with a powder. I'm just going to set it with a powder <laughs> Sanji. I'm going to be using Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. <laughs> love said, you can't cry. I've been crying all day, so you're not allowed. Oh, love, sugar. Girl, what you been crying for, honey? Okay, so Black Radiance. Contour palette, medium to dark, medium to dark. And as you can see, we been all up in this, sis, honey. We been all up in this, you know. We got up in her goods. So now, this is the contour. It's dark. This is the sculpting, which is the highlight part. And then this is the highlighter, the shimmer. Okay? Okay, love. All right. Okay. So again, with my oval brush and my contour, this is my, like, like my nose contour brush. I'm going to swipe down my nose. Sis. Now, if I was to do a cream contour, let me tell you, I'm finna learn you something else. If you do a cream, as you saw earlier, when I did the cream highlight, I was able to move it, right? For the contour, you don't want to move it so much. You don't want to have to move it. Because if, if I use the cream and use too much, you the only way to undo that is to take it off and start over or you have to then go back and put more product on to eliminate that just pre pre prevent the, the uh, hardship just use a powder go with a powder cream products they move they move y'all see that nose coming y'all see that nose baby she done she about to go Turn to a whole uh honey, somebody say uh what's what's her name? Envy Envy Furman. She say, I'm about to go <laughs> I'm about to be one of the Braxton sisters. Honey with that nose, but I can't do the Braxton though. Cause my 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 schnoz start off large. Is a large, extra large. And as you can see, like I said, we're going natural, so I'm bringing it right into my brow. Okay. All right. That's the nose. We're going to let her sit right there for a second. Again. 
slightly. Slightly. But I'm going to come back and blend that out. But I'm placing it. I'm telling it where I want it to go. With, pow with powder being dry, once you put it where you want it, it does not move. You don't have to worry about it moving like that unless you go in with a blender and move it. You'll see that in a second. I appreciate you all for tuning in. I really, really do. I'm having a good time with y'all. Did y'all share though? Did y'all share? Honey, sharing is caring, honey. Yes, honey. We got to carve these cheeks, girl. Because you know. We're going for a natural look. That's the thing. We're going for a natural look. I want that natural, honey. Listen, I got a slight little under chin right there. I'm only supposed to have one. I'm going to get rid of one of those. I'm, I'm getting rid of one of those. Okay, I don't need no set. I don't need a set of chins, honey. <laughs> Who out there got a set of chins? Raise your hand. <laughs> don't, don't raise your hand. <laughs> don't raise your hand, honey. I don't want to know. I got enough chins on my face to be worried about my own. I don't need to be worried about nobody else's chin work. Huh? <laughs> okay, so now, <clears throat> excuse me, with my beauty blender, I'm not going to wet this one because it's all you know. I don't want to. I don't want to wet it. I'm just gonna blend it out. You see that? Already, it's easy with a with a cream. You'll be you'll still be working. Your arms still be baby. You'll be you'll be you know, cardio up in here. Easy. Easy. See, that's the thing, guys. We want to make it easy for us. We want to work smarter, not harder. We want to work smarter, not harder. Because some of these faces, honey, be two hours, two days long. If you take you two days, you got to start. If you got somewhere to go Friday, you got to start on uh, Wednesday. You know. Mm-mm. Hey, Ray Bree. You see that? Still natural looking. So, but all it is is now we're still natural. And if you notice, my face still same complexion as my neck, my ear. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless me, honey. So now everywhere I put the powder. <laughs> she said, you're so real, loving this. Honey, listen, we got to be real, girl. If you got a multi-pack of chins, come on now. Huh? That's real life. <laughs> People got multi-packs of, of chins. I got a multi-pack. I got to buy one, get one free. I'm trying to get one of them back. Some stuff, you know, just because it's free, you don't want it. <laughs> Some stuff you don't want free. You just don't want to keep no free. It's that good. No, I don't. Mm -mm. Now it's for the nose. We're blending out, blending out, blending out. You see that? Do you see that? Simple, natural looking. simple. It's simple. I'm telling y'all, it's simple. I'm telling y'all, it's so simple. The 
The whole point is to have the flawless airbrushed look. That's the whole point. That's what you're going for. That's what you're going for. Now you can have your palette like this, have your face like this, and beat the fool out that eye, honey. Because I'm telling you, what you're gonna do if you if you do something bold and popping on your eye, on your lid, with your colors, with your palettes and stuff that you use, then that means that people are going to be drawn to what you're popping out. They're not gonna be looking at trying to figure out, girl, what's happening? What you what's what's what you you know what I'm saying? You don't want that. You don't want that. You want people to look at you and be like, girl, what in Jesus the Christ name have you used for your face? Because the way that your skin is flawless right now, the way it looks like rolled dough, honey, smooth as ever, that's what you want. You don't want people looking like you looking at you like, girl, is you hot? Is you hot? You okay? You got all them layers on, baby. It's summertime. Take some of them layers off. Natural looking. Okay? So now, with that, now I'm going to take the accompanying powder, the powder, to the uh, L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and it's going to make me all cohesive. Give me one cohesive area, but not get rid of my highlight. I'm just going to lightly dust. Just dust over. But it's not going to get rid of my highlight or my contour, okay? Hey, Sharon. How are you, honey? Just a light dust. That's it. Light dust. And we still have some. When the light hits, you still see some highlighted areas. You still see the chisel and the contour of the, of the cheeks. You still see it. You still see the contour of the nose. You still see the bridge highlighted. Thank you, thank you. We're going for the natural look and I was showing the importance of color correction before you do your makeup application. If you're going for a natural look, there's a way to accomplish a natural look without, you know, looking like three different skin tones. Okay? You see that? And it's very lightweight. You know, and it just looks like skin. It just looks like you got a good set of skin, honey. So I'm just saying, you got me laughing while I'm driving. <laughs> girl, don't you, girl, don't you swerve on my account. Uh-uh. Get, get to your destination, sugar. Get there. Get there now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because even with a natural look, you still want to pop like with your brow. You may want to put a lash on, which I'm about to do. Which I'm about to do, Okay. My lash up behind me. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm using Casina, the Premium Mink Lashes. Casina Premium Mink. Let me see which one this is. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. Let me see if I can. They have shorter strands right in that the crease and then it flares out and honey honey um let me see if i will take a i'm gonna take a um she said, Sharon said, I want the look, Mr. Beginning. That's okay, honey. That's the whole beauty about Facebook and the beauty about these videos. You can go right back and hit the rewind button and it'll play it for you. And if you missed it, and if you want, you don't even go through, want to go through Facebook, you go through our YouTube channel, Beauty by Miss B, on YouTube. And honey, I guarantee you, this video will be there too for you, as well as all of our other videos that we've done. In fact, all y'all, that's an open invitation to go there and hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Okay. So I'm going to go with a, I have an e.l.f. liquid liner. I'm going to give myself a li liquid liner so I can make that, that uh, lash talk to y'all. Okay. How many of y'all are afraid of a liquid liner? Where you like, uh-uh, me, me and her don't get along. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Some people really are afraid of liquid liners. Again, I'm going for a natural something. So I'm not going to do all of that. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna do a slight, slight wing on them. Honey, my eyes starting to war. I told y'all, y'all ain't finna have me up in here crying. Light, natural. Light, natural look. I love a liquid liner. No intimidation here. Come through, soldier. Come through, warrior. Sharon says she ain't never scared. Girl, that dog gonna need to jack that one up. Okay, something simple, something simple. Just to give me a little little base for my um my lash that I'm about to put on, cause that lash finna come through. It just might hit you hit you, hit you in the face through the screen. It might do this. It might do this here. I ain't trying to scare you, sis. That's a disclaimer though, cause they about to come for your life. All right. The lash is about to come for your existence. <laughs> Sharon said those eyes are the real deal Yes honey Yes uh, <laughs> That was extra That was over the top right there <laughs> Y'all gotta stop me honey Y'all can't be giving me no compliments and stuff That thing goes straight to my head baby <laughs> Girl raw Yes honey girl raw Okay, get that glue tacky, and I'm going to apply our lash, our lash. And then the beautiful thing about mink lashes, you guys, silk lashes and mink lashes, are they last long? I know some of the ones at the beauty supply and all of that stuff, they're like a dollar, they're more affordable and stuff like that. If you just want something real quick, real easy, a one-time affair, then go ahead and do that. But if you know that you are a lash wearer, and you want to invest in a good pair of lashes where you want that eye appeal every day. Where you want them folks to look at your eyes and get entranced. Huh? You want to go ahead and invest you invest in you a good, 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 good lash. Okay? So that you can, you know what I'm saying? So that you can wear them multiple times. The thicker the band, the more they last. Okay? The longer they last. You can wear a silk or a mink lash. You can wear up to 25 to 30 times. Okay, Sharon said, now nah, I'm scared of the lash. You scared of the lash, girl? Don't you ever be scared of no lash, baby. That's the honey. Huh? And see, the beautiful thing about this lash, like I said, it starts off with smaller, shorter hairs. And it flares out to the longer. Honey. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Sharon said, you make it look so easy. Girl, you have to understand, I am a 12-year L'Oreal certified makeup artist. Okay? I've been doing this. I do this stuff in my sleep. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I do. 12-year L'Oreal makeup artist certified. 21-year vet in the, in the beauty industry. 
Oh yes, honey. Oh yes. I'm true to this. I ain't new to this. Y'all see that last look at that. Y'all see that? Look at that. That thing is gorgeous. Okay? That's beyond gorgeous. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Serious. I'm showing out. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. Uh, you know. I, I do what I do uh, for the people. You know what I mean? I, 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 I can only. Uh, I can only. Uh, Give what I got, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, you know, you know. To God be the glory, though, huh? <laughs> to God be the glory, though, uh huh. For all of these things, huh? Sanji says, 21 years I've been looking for you. I need help. Girl, come hither. Come forth, daughter. Come forth, daughter. Rise up and walk. Come to the Temple of Beauty by Miss B. Salon Studios, where we will bless your entire, huh? Your entire soul. <laughs> Sharon says, send me one of those eyes. You want to send one of these eyes, girl? Let me see. Let me see. Poke one out real quick and send that. Send it to your express mail. Oh, don't worry about me. I can work my one. I, I keep my other one. I will gladly give you my eyeball, girl. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other side. The key to, let me tell you what the key to applying lashes is. The key is putting on the glue and letting it get tacky. Letting it get tacky. You do not want to put the glue on and just try to slap it up there because it, it's too wet. It's way too wet. It's not going to adhere to your lid. So carefully, while it's tacky, you want to take it and you want to apply the center point first. Apply it in the center first and it don't move. That way you can take your end and put that one on that one end. You put the one on the other end and you don't have to worry about it moving and it going anywhere. You have way more control. The lash is not in control. You are. Just like the concealer that I was saying. You move it. You don't, you don't let it determine where it's going to go on its own. You tell it where to go. Same thing with your lash. Your whole entire existence is controlled by you, sugar. Honey, that thing can preach. Y'all, she cutting up. She cutting up in here. Ivy. Come here. Calm down. Y'all here in here tap dancing, y'all. <laughs> Sanji says, yes, honey, yes. You see that? We still have a natural looking face. Natural looking face. And we just made them eyes pop, honey. They talking all by themselves. They talking. Y'all see that? Sharon said, you're going to make me run out this evening and give me some <laughs> mink lashes. Practice, 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 practice. That is the perfect thing to do, Sharon, though. Because uh, mink lashes are, have durability. You can get up to 30... 25 to 30 wears out of a good mink lash. So if you want to use a pair of mink lashes to practice, that is the perfect pair to use because you can actually wear them multiple times. They're easy to clean. Look at that. Look at that. Honey, Miss B just came all the way together in your face, girl. In your face. What? 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 Okay. So in that same um, contour palette, I, like I showed you, there is a highlighter. There's a bronzer, a shimmer. Said so the lashes are killing, honey. Ain't they, they massacring y'all, y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all be careful. 
I told you, be careful. I told you to watch your soul. Watch yourself. I gave you the disclaimer, did I? I know I did. Okay. So now, before I do the highlight, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the spray. I'm just going to set it again. I want to do my rose water because, you know, it's a good hydrator. You know what I mean? And again, what this does is it takes all the product that you have on your face and it melts it in there. It makes it even more skin-like, okay? On top of that, while that's setting and drying, I'm going to spray with the NYX Mattifying Spray again because Miss B is oily, as she stated. And there's nothing wrong with setting your face a couple of times, honey. Huh? And with the natural looking face like this, honey, you can just wear your lashes just like this. You can get you a good shimmer lip gloss and call it a day. Or you can get a um, a matte lipstick and call it a day. You can get you a chapstick and call it a day. As you can see, look at the cohesiveness. Look at the blending. Look at the, the true to skin complexion. Even with all of the highlighting, all of the color correcting, all of that stuff, this is the result of doing a proper laying, a proper foundation. It's like building a house. You have to lay a proper foundation before if you want that structure to stand tall like it's going to stand tall. You got to lay the right foundation. That'll preach too. Huh? Huh? She said, go on with the wind. Fabulous girl. Go on with the wind. Honey, wait, hold on. <laughs> girl okay so now now that that is all set and you see that you see the finish it looks more skin like it doesn't look powdery you see that that is the effect, you guys. That's what we want every single time we do our makeup. Those people that know me, they know I do not play about my makeup now. I don't play about it. You're going you gonna to know Miss B for some hair, and you're going to know Miss B for that face. And you're going to know Miss B for the nails, honey. That Miss B does herself, honey. Huh? Okay, then. All right. So I'm going to do the highlight. I'm going to take the highlight, the gold that was in the contour palette, the uh, Black Radiance. I'm just going to kiss it a little bit, you know. Just a little bit. Because, again, we're keeping in tune with the natural look. Just a little something. We ain't trying to scream at the people. That's another thing, too, y'all. Y'all getting a little ridiculous with this highlight. Y'all getting a little ridiculous with this highlight. Honey, Rihanna, I came out with that trophy wife, and y'all done lost y'all ever-loving mind. Y'all looking like the the Oscar trophy. Y'all come, y'all out here looking like the Oscar statue. Sis. Sis. Ain't nobody told you to go out here and become metallic and platinum. Ain't nobody told you to do that. Just kiss it a little bit. You ain't got to turn into the aluminum man. Huh? <laughs> Y'all know it's true. I'm just putting just a dab. I'm not even, you know, because again, if you notice, notice what the light is hitting. Notice what the light is hitting. And I have great lighting in, in my, um, my room here. Notice what the light is hitting. It's hitting everything that I'm telling, I told it to hit. It's hitting everything that I told it to hit. And notice what it's not. My contour right up in here. You see that? It's hidden in there. You tell your makeup what to do. You do that. Okay? All right? Okay, people. 
That's it for me, honey. Miss B said to stay all natural looking and gorgeous. And I want to make, I, people need to know that I woke up like this. Huh? <laughs> you got to look like you woke up like this, girl. Like you woke up like this, girl. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. So you all listen. That is it for today's segment. Thank you all so very much. It was so much fun. I'm not going to lie to you. I had so much fun. Y'all made it a, a great afternoon. You made it a great, great, great midday makeover with Beauty by Miss B. If you are in the Atlanta area, if you're in the Atlanta and surrounding city area, then please, please, please stop by. Um, we're Beauty by Miss B Salon Studios, 4651 Flat Shows Road, Union City, Georgia, Suite 6B, as in B. Okay. Thank you, Sanji. Thank you so much. Sharon says, too cute. Sanji said, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. We appreciate you for tuning in. We appreciate everybody for the shares. And thank you again, again, again. If you want to, she said, yes, you are so pleasant. Thank you so much. If you all want to come by and be serviced by us here at Beauty by Miss B Salon Studios, please feel free. We do everything from weave installations, hair, uh, natural hair, colors, cuts, um, braids, we do nails, we do facials, we do um, body waxing, we do uh, scalp analysis and everything, honey. Thank you so much. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. We also, starting next week, why well, I can't be in Dallas? I can't be in Dallas, baby, if you send for me, huh? Send for me and I shall come. Okay, send for me and I shall come. Now, um, starting next week, starting next week, we are offering body massage we have a massage therapist that's going to be joining the team and so um she's going to be here operating thursday friday and saturday and sundays so you do not want to miss this blessing honey you'll be able to come to beauty by miss b salon studios and get here and just stay all day and just make it a big pamper day for you i'm pretty sure it's needed you know it's needed you know them kids get on your nerve girl you know that man got on your nerve and it's not honey you just need a little break that's all Come on back, come on back, come on back. Okay? Right here, we say uh, we don't want you to just look beautiful. We want you to be beautiful. We are remantling queens. We have women that feel less than beautiful, less than worthy, less than um, taken care of, less than attractive. And so our job as beauty professionals and beauty technicians is to reinstate the fact that she is a queen Honey, is to reinstate the flat fact that she, her price is far above rubies and to reinstate, reintroduce her to her beautiful, gorgeous self just the way God made her. That is what we are here for. Okay? So we want you guys to come on by, come on by, come on by. We would love to have you here. There's always a warm seat of a, wel of a welcome awaiting you. And listen, we will, even if you just want to come by and just say, hey, Miss B. I was just in the neighborhood, girl. I just want a hug, girl. Then come on back, girl. We get all free and clear. You ain't even got to make an appointment for a hug, girl. Come on through. Come on do through. I got plenty love for ya. All right? Okay, so, well, until next time, you guys, we are here weekly, every Tuesday, 3 p.m. Uh, uh, Eastern, 2, 2 p.m. Central, yes. Right here, Midday Makeover with Beauty by Miss B. I am, again, your girl, Miss B, and I love you, and that's for real, Okay? Mm. You all have a wonderful day, pig.